Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will be drawing an owl flying with this brush pen. It's a brush that has ink inside, a dark brown ink. First I sketched a rounded shape for the head, an oval actually, and then the big eyes, huge eyes that these little creatures have. Let's draw the pupils, leaving a small blank reflection. And here, the beak, the hooked beak. Then I'll start a feathery texture with some light lines. I have to say, this brush pen is not new. I have it for quite a while and the ink is drying out which for me is great, because if I use it lightly and especially on the side, it makes a very light and blurry mark, which I can use for light sketching and for light shading. Let's do the feathers, maybe a little bit longer here. Good, and now I'll shade them. A light shading first, and then I'll go darker in some areas. With some little short strokes, we can create the texture. Like so. Owls are pretty amazing. They have large frontal eyes, which gives them binocular vision. That is, they can gauge the depth of their prey very accurately from a long distance. The same thing with their ears. They can locate the exact position of what is emitting sound which is really important for hunting at night. Also for this purpose, and more specifically for stealth flying, their feathers are engineered so that they don't make noise when flying, or a minimal noise. This function is not as important for birds that hunt during the day, because they are generally seen before they get too close. But hunting at night, they are very hard to see, and if they can't be here, they become really dangerous. And they can move and reposition some of the feathers of the face to redirect the sound to their ears. On these feathers that I am drawing, they have some darker spots, some sort of pattern or design. Their talons are large and very strong. They can crush the bones of their prey with them, with them and with their beak. Ok, good, and now for more detail I will use a fountain pen. The list of materials that I am using is in the information below the video. This pen has a very dark brown ink. With it we reinforce the darkest spots like the tip of the beak and the pupils and also some of the spotty feathers. Alright, and now with a white pigment marker we can paint highlights, the lights in the drawing, which as I'm drawing on a light blue paper, they show very white. If the paper were white, this pen wouldn't show hardly at all. Another interesting fact about owls is that they have their eyes fixed in place, like most birds actually. So to look somewhere else, they have to turn the head. And to be able to do this quietly without moving the body, their head can turn all the way to the back. To accomplish this, they have 14 vertebrae, or neck bones, rather than 7, like we humans have. For the eyes, I use an orange pencil to create a different and appealing feature. I extend these feathers a little bit, and there are some white feathers on the face, which I am drawing here, and then if we don't want them totally white, we can go over with the brown brush pen, and so creating a lighter brown. Very good, excelente, it's ready. Please let me know what do you think about this drawing. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, and click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos. And I will see you on Tuesday.